In this video, we will show you how to modify your Dive Computer USB cable so you can use it with Dive Computer Buddy. Please note that you will have to modify the USB cable at your own risk. Also, please note that modifying the USB cable might void the warranty of your Dive Computer. Please check this with the manufacturer of your Dive Computer. If you pledged for a Dive Computer Buddy do-it-yourself reward on Kickstarter, you will receive a Dive Computer Buddy base and a couple of audio jack, male and female. As explained on the Kickstarter project, this reward could only be used for the following families of Dive Computers. Sunto D family, Oceanic OC family, Oceanic VO family, which includes also some Aries and Sherwood Dive Computers. Let's start with the download cable for the Sunto D family. First, make sure that the USB cable is disconnected from the dive computer and from your PC. Then cut it at a length of about 8 inches, or 20 centimeters, from the circular connector that goes inside the dive computer. Then work on both cables to expose the internal wires. Please note that depending on which models of USB cable you have, there could be either three wires or four wires. We only need three wires, black, red, and white. So if you have a cable with four wires, just cut off the extra green wire. The next step is to connect the male audio jack to the short cable and the female audio jack to the long one. We now solder the three wires to the connector. The white wire must be connected to the tip contact. The red wire must be connected to the central ring contact. The wire must be connected to the shield contact. Let's make a final check. Okay, now we can close the audio jack and our cable is done. Now. If you want to be able to continue to use the USB cable with a PC, we need to repeat the operation and connect the female audio jack to the long cable. Make sure to connect the three wires correctly, white to the tip, red to the center ring, and black to the shield. Once done, close the female audio jack. Now let's see if we did a good job. We put the two cables together by connecting the audio jacks and download a log from the dive computer using a PC and a dive log program. In this case, we're using our DivePal program. It looks like our cable is working fine, and it is ready to be used with your new dive computer buddy.